Today we're taking a look at Delta's relatively new IFE system that I spotted on a 767-300 from JFK to LAX. This is in the economy cab. As you can see just below the screen, thankfully everybody gets a USB port and a 3.5mm headphone jack, which is in front of them instead of in the armrest, which I personally find much better. The main menu is broken down into movies, HBO, TV, and so on. When you click on movies, you're presented with a whole bunch of different genres, from comedy to Korean films to sci-fi and horror. When you click an individual genre, you see posters of three movies on each screen, and every time you click for the next screen, it moves extremely quickly. There's almost no lag on this system. Back and forth, and there's never a hesitation. Once you click on a movie, it shows you very quickly the information, about each movie, what it costs, the runtime, the rating, and a brief synopsis. When we go back to the home screen and check out the HBO selections, we see that they have original series, comedies, and films. Now, even on the transcontinental flights, the options from HBO are not free, at least in my economy section. Each one costs about $2. Back on the home screen, we also have a selection of TV shows, either drama, comedy, lifestyle, and so on. The same thing as before, the selections are very quick, although you see more on each screen, which is a bit nicer than only having three per screen. TV shows are free, at least on this flight they were. If we go back to pick a different genre, we see that there is a decent selection of TV shows, but you still only get that one, two, or maybe three episodes per actual TV show, which isn't great. Under the music selection, we have a whole bunch of different genres, just like we did with the movies once again. Sorting through the CD selection, which is pretty nice, giving the uh, cover art for each individual album, you can see that there's a pretty good selection. Under games, there is the standard selection that you'll find on IFE, Sudoku, there's Trivia, Bejeweled, though you'll probably want to stick to your iPad for a longer flight. Now, Delta also has a Sky Kids selection, which is a specifically catered menu just for kids. If you want to keep them out of the action and the high drama movies, it's great to have for the kids. In the My Flight section, you have the Moving Map, one of passengers' favorite options. Now, it cycles through the time to destination, the vital info like this, and then brings up a fantastic high-resolution map showing your position and the world around you. I really thought this was great. I'm, I've been very wary seeing low resolution maps that sometimes don't really show exactly where you are. This was great. Within the IFE system you can also control the reading light, the flight attendant call button, and you can actually just shut the screen off with the push of a button, which is nice. This little blue light is motion activated and you just tap it after it lights up and the screen pops right back on. It's nice to have the availability to shut that off and get some sleep if you want. Back in the movie selection, let's uh, go pick a, a decent movie that I haven't seen yet. Uh, no, no, none of these look quite good. I've seen all these. No, I've seen that. Oh, let's go back. I want to see Kick-Ass 2. I never got a chance to see that. Now let's do it in English. And yeah, I know, content. And you can actually resume a movie when you left it off before, which is nice. You don't have to fast forward to get to that point. The movie looks to be in full HD, using the whole screen, which is great. When you're in a movie, you can actually bring up a picture-in-picture -picture to bring the moving map live behind the video, giving you a kind of picture-in-picture -picture view, so you don't have to completely exit the movie to get to the moving map, which is nice. There's a little glitch, however. When you go back to the screen, when you go back to the movie, you can see it's 4x3, not the great 16x9 it was before. There's a fix. Exit the movie, go back to the selection, start it over, and your movie will be back to 16 by 9, the way it should be. Don't know why that's a glitch, but there's your resolution. So that's basically Delta's new IFE system in a short little video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.